Hi, Wes Neal here. Let's talk about boat ramps, shall we? Oftentimes I come to a pond where someone has built a boat ramp and it's either too steep or it's too shallow of a grade. If it's too shallow, the vehicle will actually have to submerge in the water to let the boat off. And if it's too steep, you'll actually lose traction trying to pull the boat out of the water. A good boat ramp should be between 12% and 15% grade. That's about a seven to eight and a half degree slope. Less than that, and you get problems uh, launching the boat. You'll have to put the whole vehicle in the water. And more than that, you'll have issues with traction trying to pull the boat out of the water. The other thing that's very important is that the boat ramp should be at least 20 feet long into the water at low water level. That makes sure it terminates at a depth of about four feet or more. That's because you never know how large of a vessel you'll need to launch. You may have to have a liming barge come in or even an electrofishing boat, and that ensures there's ample water to launch the boat. And my final point is the width. Most public boat ramps are quite wide, but cement's expensive but you need to have your ramp at least 12 feet in width. That gives you some margin of error when you're back in the trailer.